With a population of around 1.3 billion people, India is currently facing rising scarcity of water resources due to increase in population, urbanization, as well as climate change. Now, this challenge has a significant impact on agriculture. India at 100 series aims to present innovative solutions for India's major sustainable development challenges. Presented by DCM Shriram Foundation with Knowledge Partner, the Indian School of Development Management, this show will explore the real issues as well as present solutions in detail. So let's go take a look. Agriculture in India holds immense potential for improvement, both in terms of the quality and quantity of crops produced. Achieving these improvements could substantially boost the income of farmers. Another crucial aspect to address is incorporating efficient use of water. Farmers can benefit from employing technology and improved methods to save both water and the costs of irrigation. A significant 78% of India's fresh water is consumed by the agricultural sector and a substantial 62% of irrigation relies on groundwater resources. Unfortunately, it is anticipated that by 2030, India will have only half the water it needs, potentially causing a 16% drop in food production. Let's understand from the experts on why there is an urgent need to actively tackle this issue. Hello everyone, my name is Ravi Sridharan. I am one of the co-founders of Indian School of Development Management. In this episode, we are going to talk about water in agriculture. Mismanaged water resources, climate change, excessive use of water and inadequate infrastructure negatively impacts livelihoods of 600 million farmers of India. To tackle the shortage of water in agriculture, organizations and governments are collaborating to find solutions and take them to the ground. Today, we have Mr. Hemendra Mathur, co-founder of Think Ag, here with us to discuss in detail the vision and challenges of water in agriculture. Hem, it's a pleasure to welcome you at India at 100. Could you explain to our audience what is the, the challenge when we think about water and agriculture and how serious is the situation? Thanks, Ravi. You're absolutely right. Almost 80 percent of the water available in the country goes into agriculture. Uh, that is 800 BCM, billion cubic meters. Guess how much of it is wasted? Almost 50 percent. So, wasting 400 billion cubic meters per annum because of wrong or unjudicious use of water in agriculture. So, our, our water use efficiency is, is abysmally low, which need to be improved. Another important data point, almost 70 percent of the ground water goes into agriculture. We have 45 million bore wells in the country and there's an estimate that more than 50 percent will go dry in next 10 years. So we won't be left with any water to grow our food. So the situation is, is, is not that great and we need to act it now, otherwise it will be too late. What are these big issues we need to tackle? I think we need to work in a more collaborative way and I would say there are four pillars to it. The first and foremost, the policy. Second is uh, innovations, third is financing, and fourth is partnership. Uh, policy clearly to drive uh, adoption among farmers, create financial incentives for farmers to adopt water resilient practices, build some sort of water conservation index for the country to make it, uh, you know, to, for states and districts and villages to adopt. Uh, when it comes to innovations, uh, there are thankfully there are multiple innovations available to drive water conservation, measurement of soil moisture, irrigation scheduling, grassroot innovation, package of practices, bring them together. Financing, we need to create very innovative financial products and for that to happen, banks, startups, regulators, places like RBI, NABAD, they have to come together to create it. Last but not the least, partnerships, Who, who's going to take the solution to the farmers and for that we need uh, NGOs, FPOs, village level micro entrepreneurs, state universities, you know, all of them to come together to take these solutions to farmers. What would your advice be for them in terms of how to approach, what should they focus on? Yeah, no, I think we should definitely involve them more and more for solving for water. Um, and there are multiple things they can do. 
uh, one is to identify these influencers or we can call them lead farmers or village level micro entrepreneurs who typically are working in villages providing some solutions services in the villages who typically command a lot of credibility in the local communities so we need to involve these people to take the message to the farmers right identify them train them run short term courses for them thankfully you know we have this digital means you can create 10 day 15 day modules for them and sort of spread the word among them so if they are on their side they can influence many many farmers him for the size of our country the scale of the problem and obviously the aspirations we have to solve a problem like this i'm guessing we need to work on multiple fronts could you help our audience understand what are those big things we need to work on we can definitely take water use efficiency to maybe 80 90 percent you know drip irrigation has water use efficiency of almost 100 percent but drip is you know the penetration is still very low so i think that is what we should aim for and that is i think it's i don't think it's an option we need to do it otherwise we want to run out of food if we don't solve it for now so i think that's my vision for next 25 years uh, we should definitely put water at the top of the priority among policy makers, among corporates, among startups. Hem, thank you so much for being with us today. And we have a video to capture some of the work that's happening at the grassroots level. In 2021, a pioneering initiative named Jitega Kisan was launched with the objective to boost farmers' earnings through advanced farming, training and improved market connections, benefiting 2,000 farmers in 46 villages within Sonbhadra districts, Chopan and Robert Ganj block. The program was led by DCM Sriram Foundation with knowledge partners IFC and IRRI and ISAP as the implementation partners. Some of the initiatives being taken to address water efficiency in agriculture include promoting water conserving techniques such as the alternate wet and dry AWD method for paddy cultivation, employing laser leveler machines for precise plot leveling to optimize irrigation and reduce water usage on plots. Conducting over 600 demonstrations in paddy and wheat to showcase effective agricultural practices, emphasizing prudent fertilizer use. Facilitating market connections for trading wheat and paddy through a strategic collaboration of government and private companies. रुपाई करने बाद बार बार पानी देना पड़ता था ये डब्ल्यूडी जीतेगा किसान जब से ये प्रोजना आया है हमने पाइप खेत में लगाया है तब से तीन सेंटीमीटर से ऊपर पानी नहीं भर रहे हैं और वो पानी लगभग है बारह दिन चौदह दिन चल जा रहा है इससे हमको पानी की बचत है और पानी की बचत है तो बिजली की भी बचत है कम देना पड़ रहा है और उत्पादन क्षमता में कायदे का उत्पादन हुआ उसमें रोग नहीं लगा और पैदावार अच्छा the AWD technique boosts water use efficiency by 25%, while plot laser leveling reduces irrigation water use by 10 to 15%. In the last two years, the project showcased better agronomic practices through demos, leading to 10 to 15% crop yield improvements in paddy and wheat. Higher yield and lower production costs raised farmer earnings. Enhanced market access resulted in 10 to 15 percent higher prices for farmers compared to local traders. Moving ahead, a prospective approach could involve the formation of a farmer producer company, FPC. It unites farmers, driving impactful changes in business and socio economic aspects within the community. There are so many programs that fail because they pick the wrong metric to measure. Unless, in the case of water, we start looking at tonnage per litre instead of tonnage per hectare to monitor and measure water efficiency in agriculture, we will not be able to make progress in solving the challenges of water in agriculture. <laughs>